my big worry is that people will treat it as a by-election, where it's sort of okay to give the government a good kick. Whereas this is not about giving the government a good kick, this is about the future of the entire of this country and where it's going to be in the world and what it's going to do and how it's going to place itself in the next foreseeable future. It's the most important vote in my, in my political lifetime. Sir Nicholas says the EU has done a tremendous job ensuring security across the region. I also asked him if his grandfather, Winston Churchill, was here today. How would he vote? My grandfather started his public life when Queen Victoria was still on the throne. When he, when he was a soldier and he charged in the last cavalry charge of the British Army using a sword. He served six of the kings and queens of Britain and he is the present, he was the present Queen's first Prime Minister. And he's 51 years dead this year. And if you were to put him here today, does anyone really believe that in all that time, with all his experience, that looking out over a very unstable, fragile, uncertain world, he would really think this was a good idea for Britain to cut itself loose from the continent which it has so often had to ride to the rescue. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.